Hey there everyone, I am Dresden and welcome back to another episode of Downhill Madness. Today's video is going to be all about this, the Gavril Roamer, but this is no ordinary Roamer, as you will see. It's a little bit longer. Yup. You guys saw the uh, title and thumbnail. We won't be using the vehicle that I took the thumbnail with, simply because there is no way I would make it around a turn. We may try it if I do another edition of the worst vehicles we could possibly run <laughs> on this, but we're going to just do this one and then two that are a little longer. So this is the long roamer. Uh, and this is has a 0.25 meter extension. Uh, the trunk is open for some reason. Don't ask me why, because I didn't open it. <laughs> um, so it weighs 2,700 kilos, which is almost three metric tons. Um, power to weight ratio of 0 0.65 with 179 horsepower. I don't know if the horsepower goes up when the vehicles get bigger, but I sure feel like the weight's going to go up. Um, so it might be like the one, the longest we're going to do is an eight meter extension thumbnail. If I can fit it will be the 32 meter extension clickbait. You know how it is. Um, but I'm sure we'll try the 32 meter extension at some point, uh, whenever we do the worst vehicles, um, that we could possibly run. But the 8 meter should hopefully have more horsepower. I don't know how it works. I don't know how the vehicles are tuned <coughs> or if they're tuned at all. I just know they're longer. I'm sure the drive shaft is like glass on that one as well because it will be a very long drive shaft and I doubt there's going to be any transfer cases besides the 4x4 transfer case that's most likely at the front. Um, this one shouldn't do that bad though. The 4 meter extension that we're going to run next may be rough. It probably will be rough. Um, because it's going to be 4 meters longer than this one pretty much. 3.75 meters. But it'll be hard to drive. Uh, the last one I think will be undrivable. But we're going to give this one a shot now. The trunk being open is a weird touch. I'm telling you I did not open that. I just spawned it and the trunk was open. Uh, and it doesn't seem like it wants to close. It's just pulling the roof in on the back. Um, which is fine, you know, it can do what it wants. That's not good. That is not good. That front wheel does not look good. It's back. No, it's not. Um, okay, well, we're three-wheel drive. I, I mean, the front wheel doesn't say it disconnected. No, the front wheel, I think, still even turns. It's just one of the control arms. Looks like the upper control arm, most likely. Uh, just kind of snapped on it. That's okay. That's not that big of an issue. Um, all things considered... Bigger issues will come later, I'm sure, with the longer vehicles. Um, over rev risk. I'm in automatic. That's not my fault. Uh, I have started the series in automatic, so I'm going to continue to drive all the vehicles in automatic just to keep it a fair playing field. Okay. That's okay. We just need to try and get back to the path. Um, I don't know if this can climb this hill, per se. But I'm going to try and get it to meet up here. Just kind of beeline it. We are very down on power. And I'm not positive why. Um, could be because of that wheel that's broken. Not putting power down. There we go. Yeah, we are. We definitely do not have 179 horsepower anymore. I don't think it's the weight of the vehicle that caused that much pain. I think it's just the vehicle. Um, and the damage that's been done to it that's caused that. We have no taillights. I just realized both of our taillights fell out. Like, they're not even cracked or shattered. They're just not there. And I do believe they were there when we spawned the vehicle. So they're just gone. They're just gone. That's, I mean, we don't really need them, though. It's not like we're driving down with other people in the dark who would need to see our taillights. Maybe our brake lights might be important if we were driving with other people, but we're not. And you can see the brakes at the bottom middle of the screen whenever I brake. So you don't even need it. Okay, well, we have basically made it to the bottom. There we go. We have made it to the bottom. How's this look? Perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever. Looks brand new. Our entire left side definitely isn't collapsed, especially the front left. Looks fine. Let's go ahead and run it into the wall. Yeah, look, see, I spawn it. Oh, it does have taillights. I spawn it and the trunk's open. I don't know why. Can I close it?
Nope. Okay. Doesn't have a latch. I hit the, I hit the close lever, and it closed and then opened back up. Like it bounced. So that's good. Okay. Let's run it into the wall since we made it. We made it on the first try too. That's. I mean, I guess I expected to. It's basically just a roamer. So I didn't really expect it to not make it, but yeah. 68 miles an hour. Boom. For three tons, that's not a lot of damage. You would probably be okay. Uh, passengers would definitely be okay. Third row seating would also most likely be okay. As long as they're all wearing their seatbelts. If not, you'd be through that windshield and uh, in the sand somewhere over there. Saying hi to the birds and all the ants that you've accidentally stepped on up in heaven. Um, yeah, that was, that was great. Uh, on to the next vehicle. It'll be terrible. I feel like it'll be bad. All right, everyone. This is the Gavril Romer four meter extension. We're going twice this length in the video, folks. This is interesting. Uh, also, the last one was called the 0.25 meter stretch. I don't know if I said extension, but it's just stretched out. This one's extended. Uh, the normal vehicle would end about here-ish. And, uh, yeah. So, still has 179 horsepower, but now it weighs almost 4 metric tons. Um, so, an extra ton has been added, basically. I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, it doesn't really drive that bad. I feel like over rev is going to be a problem. I feel like... Scraping the undercarriage is going to be a problem, and that might cause us to have a glass drive shaft. Because if it goes over a bump too bad, I'm afraid it will just explode. But, <laughs> oh, the turning circle is... Ugh. It's tough. It's... You know what? We're going to see what happens. If this makes it to the bottom, I will... Uh, the babies will cry. In happiness not in sadness um but I'm not expecting it to I also do believe it's on the stock suspension because this suspension on the front looks to be going very low when we hit any bump back suspension doesn't seem bad but it seems like there's a lot extra weight over the front because it's rough um oh gosh see like little tiny hits like that are scary now because of just the girth of this vehicle. Not really girth, I guess. It wouldn't be girth, it would just be length. But anyway, I digress. Yeah. This will be interesting. I don't know how this is gonna go. The roof racks also smushed in because we went over a bump pretty hard. So that's something. Uh, it's definitely something. I feel like if we do make it to the bottom and run into the seawall, <laughs> I feel like this thing is gonna just banana. It's gonna bend in half. And that'll be funny. That's why I want to make it to the bottom. Also, I just want to say that I drove a four meter long. Uh, sorry, four meter extended. So it, the normal roamer, which is pretty big already, four meters longer than it usually is, and made it to the bottom of my rally of my Baja course. That some rally cars don't make it to the bottom of. That'll be that would be something to say for sure. I am amazed that it did not roll over there. That was, it's been pretty bad, uh, and it hasn't rolled over, which is amazing. I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with that fact that it didn't roll over. I feel like it is banana-ing, banana-ing, uh, especially, I mean, yeah, in the middle. The middle is definitely closer to the ground than it was when we started. It has to be. Um, that back door's also about to come off. Oh, watch the rocks on the side. I was not watching that side. I was looking at the back door. Uh, I feel like this is, I feel like this should have more doors. I feel like it should have more than just four doors. Um, is the entire side coming off of the right side? I feel like, oh, of both sides, actually, the roof is caved in enough that it's causing the uh, sides to like peel off. That's interesting. That's weird. That is a weird thing. The sides of my roamer are peeling off. That's a normal statement that most people say. Uh, I'm sure of it. I am positive of it. Oh, our front right brake is fading. Guys, I think we may have done better than we did in the last vehicle. 
<laughs> I actually think we may have done better than we did in the last one. Uh, maybe ah, the banana's not even bad. I mean, the top's definitely caved in a little, but we really just did that. We made it down in a four meter long, four extra meters. So probably nine or ten meters. I don't really know how long it is to begin with. That's crazy, and we're gonna keep the damage. Like, this is in better condition than the 0.25 meter one. That's amazing. Look at how long this thing is. That's a quote to add to the quote book. Out of context. Out of context, Dresden's really gonna... Really gonna strike within the next... Within this vehicle and the next vehicle. Yeah, I think, I think the length of this is going to cause it to just, like, the universe is going to collapse because of how long this is. I mean, this isn't even our longest one. I still have one that's longer. Um, but, I mean, it's just so long and girthy. <clears throat> Let's run into the wall. Uh, we're going to hit it at 67-ish miles an hour. Okay. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Um, do we still run? No, our drive shaft's gone. But, like, the engine still works. You would... I don't know if you'd be okay driving it or anything. People in the back seat would have flown into the front of the vehicle at mock chicken. And probably died. But the third row seating might be okay. <laughs> and the entire cargo bay. All your cargo that would be sitting in the middle would definitely be gone. But... Yeah, that, I'm impressed. We did pretty good. On to the third and probably final view. I might try the super long one in this episode, but I'll probably save it. <laughs> All right, everyone. And this is the Gavril Romer 8 meter extension. I don't, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't think this is going to make it. It does have more horsepower. 305 horsepower. It has... Over 120 more horsepower. About 125-ish. Uh, but it weighs 5 metric tons. So, I really don't know what to expect from this. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to make this. <laughs> At least it's not the 32 meter. I feel like in the episode where we tried the 32 meter extension, I feel like that's just not going to happen. Um, but the, this one feels... I mean, okay, it doesn't feel great to drive, but it feels manageable. It definitely has a diesel engine. I don't think the last one was a diesel engine, but this one's definitely a turbocharged diesel engine. Yeah, I mean, you can just hear the turbocharger. Um, it's quite loud. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to make it in this. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to... Give it the best hurrah. I'm not going to floor it. I mean, I am going to floor it. But I'm not going to go, like, really all out um, on this. I just want to make it. I want to make it to the bottom. I want to give this a time. I don't care if it's in 100th place. Because we've been getting vehicles that get, like, 3 minutes and 48 seconds. That get all the way down to 100th place. Which is pretty far down there. <laughs> pretty dang far down. Um... But in the realm of, like, undrivability, this isn't bad. It's just like driving a big rig that's cemented together. And probably longer than a big rig as well. Um, we've only ran one semi-truck down this course, actually. We should probably run more semi-trucks. Uh, we ran a truck and trailer for Christmas last year. I think that's all we've done. Um, eh, eh, ooh. I'm amazed that our oil pan doesn't have a hole in it by now because that was these are some big hits on the front of this vehicle we didn't even bottom out there that's that's amazing that's impressive oh no we might bottom out here Ugh. yeah we did we definitely bottomed out there um i wonder if the extension like walls can come off of these oh gosh okay i'm going 60 miles an hour over these bumps and the screen is just shaking because of this thing hitting the <laughs> hitting the ground so hard in the front. That's... <laughs> oh gosh. It's twisty. It's a twisty boy. Long twisty boy. 
Yeah. This is, uh... You know what, though? It's doing so much better than I thought it would. I'm actually impressed with it. Um... Now, the, uh... The longest version of this is, like, five times longer than this. Um, basically, five times longer than this. Maybe a little longer than five times longer than... Th I don't really know how the math work. But... Uh, actually, it would be a little less than five times. But still, 32 meter extension. This is only eight. The extension is five times longer than this extension, is what I'm trying to say. Um, our brakes are fading. You can hear them crying whenever I try to brake. But... It's going. I mean, it's. It, I think this is going to make it to the bottom. And I feel like this may be an even faster time than the last vehicle. I doubt it. I don't know if it will be. Oh, the brakes are bad. The brakes are bad. The brakes are really bad. Oh, no. You know what, though? If only our fuel tank ruptured in that, then that's not bad. We can, we can turn this around, actually. We can most likely turn this around here on the beach and get up the ramp. We're just gonna need to do like a three point turn while it's on fire. Our brakes are at 1,700 degrees, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit in our brakes. I believe it's in Fahrenheit. I'm gonna go with Fahrenheit. Um, that's pretty toasty. They're probably dripping metal at the moment. Um. See, this is, this is me all the way on the brake. Okay. We're going to do this. I feel like if we would have made that turn, if I would have an anticipated the brake failure, we would have made it. Engine disabled. We ran out of gas. We ran out of gas. I guess the fuel tank was ruptured. That's not really surprising. But we ran out of gas. That is a shame. Uh, Alright, I guess on to the second attempt for this vehicle. Let's see if we can make it this time. Alright, and on to the second attempt for our 8 meter extended roamer. We made it to the bottom last time. There's no doubting that. Like, we made it to the bottom. But, because we've shattered our oil pan, I'm, I'm, I think the, uh, oh, my dog's barking. That's annoying. Um, because of the broken fuel tank, we uh, didn't make it to the bottom. But the drive shaft didn't break, which is amazing. Because we hit pretty hard on the drive shaft, and it was okay. So maybe the drive shaft is invincible. I don't know if maybe they had to do that to make it this long. Uh, it's possible. I don't really know. But... The drive shaft did not break. It was just we ran out of gas. So, as long as we don't, I mean, as long as our brakes don't really fail, we can try not to go as fast this run. So we have to use the brakes a little less. And maybe that'll help stop them from being so warm. Uh, we can kind of just coast down this. Actually, coasting is still six, 50 miles an hour. It's, it's pretty quick. Uh, yeah, the brakes heat up fast. The, they are trying to stop five tons of roamer. So I'm not surprised that they heat up really fast. It just stinks that they heat up really fast. Probably does smell. It probably does stink. You know? I bet it smells like brake dust. Hot brake dust. Um, but yeah, if we just kind of coast, we may not really need to brake too much. Uh, and they might not get super hot. We can kind of lightly brake, not slam on the brakes all the time. That could also potentially help. I'm not sure who... Someone keeps going in and out of the house. And it's annoying because I'm literally doing this. But, no, we're we're making it to the bottom. We're going to make it this time. I hope. I don't know. It's only the second attempt. We still have another attempt even if this one doesn't make it. But I don't feel like driving this a third time. Because it's a pain in my rear. So we're going to hope that we make it on this attempt. Um, I'm amazed that it doesn't really like banana though. Like it doesn't break too much. It doesn't really bend in the middle. Um, which is surprising. That it doesn't really bend in the middle. 
Let's see if we can do this kind of without needing to slam the brake on all the time. Because that's our main issue at the moment, is just hitting the brakes so hard that we, uh... We end up, like, melting them and causing brake failure. Um, they're only at 500 and 550 degrees. Uh, 600 in the rear driver's side. But that's not bad. Um, that's not too warm. Not too warm at all. And we're getting pretty close to the bottom. So as long as we don't end up getting our brakes over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit again, I think we'll be okay. I'm not... 100% sure on that But I think we will we have like one more turn though So I feel like we can make it to the bottom within one turn and not uh, our brakes are at a thousand degrees Okay, our brakes are starting to fade We'll try to start braking a little earlier than last time See if that works. I would like to make this turn. This turn is the final turn Okay, we definitely made it this time. Yep. We made it to the bottom <laughs> In the 8 meter extended Gavril Roamer. On the second try too. We didn't even need to get to the third try. We just made it on the second try. Which is pretty good. Um, I'm impressed in it, uh, with it. I didn't think we would make it. With the 4 meter. Let alone the 8 meter. Um, in the future. when we do, If we do end up running the 32 meter uh, extended one. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to happen. But, we will, we will see. Um, let's go ahead and get this turned around. And flooring it towards the wall. I feel like this one should crumble. Um, smush right into the wall. It's, it's long enough that I feel like it would do that. Um, in real life anyway. I don't know. I mean, this game's pretty realistic when it comes to its car accidents. But we'll see. Uh, we are going to be going... Faster than last time. 72 miles an hour? Ooh. Yeah, that is sturdy. That is really sturdy. We did blow up our engine, though. Um, that's a, that's a sturdy extension that we put on this. Um, I'm impressed. I am impressed with it. Anyway, uh, we made it down all three times. That's surprising. Uh, onto the leaderboard for this episode. Alrighty, and now on to the leaderboard for this episode. So, in 57th place, we have the Romer 4 meter extension with a time of 3 minutes and 21.1 seconds, tying with the Hopper Park Ranger, but after it on the leaderboard, since it has the advantage of me running more vehicles before it, so I'm more experienced with the track. That's how we do ties in this. Um, next up, in 97th place overall, is the Romer 8 meter extension. With a time of three minutes and twenty nine point or three minutes and thirty nine point eight seconds, my bad. Um, which it's that's not. I mean, it's not that bad because we have one hundred forty one vehicles so far, so it's eh, it's not great, but it's not bad. Um, and then up next in one hundred and eighth place is the Romer point two five meter stretch with a time of three minutes and forty six point seven seconds. So. Apparently, I'm better at driving the vehicles that are extended stupid amounts than I am ones that are just barely extended a little bit. Um, that's kind of silly, but that's how it went down. Alright, and as always, let's send our last vehicle down the stairway mountain for the outro. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, it, it crunched. It crunched when it hit the side. So that extension is not very strong like side to side that's <laughs> it just smushes this is gonna be a good one ooh yeah it's it's flat now jeez <laughs> oh I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to smash the like button hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload uploads every Monday Wednesday Friday and every Saturday on the second channel uh, gonna try and make that work it's been going a lot if you like fish Go check it out. Uh, or vehicles. We're going to have an automotive content probably next Saturday. If I get to it. So stay tuned for that. And merch. Link in the description. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time. This has been Dresden. And goodbye.